My name is Vahid Chitza, as part of Elite Mastermind Group. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm Nuno Santos. I'm a business coach and um, I help people to, to be a better person and to improve in their business. And uh, I'm here to talk about the Think and Grow Rich book. I think I can, I can bring really good value to this, uh, this page and this website. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how the entrepreneurs and the business guys think. I actually interview a bunch of guys who are entrepreneurs and uh, they have their own companies. And I try to discover how they think and how they behave. That is awesome. So when did you start with Thinking Go Rich and how did you start? Okay, so with the book, I, I, I heard from it in a coaching formation and uh, I don't really know it. But uh, when I start to reading, I understand that uh, you have to have a, a growing mindset in order to understand it and uh, that you have to read it several times in order to you to get the, the knowledge that the books wants to give you. You cannot get it in only one uh, reading. So I try to read it, I try to listen it, and I try to keep the most of their uh, thinkings in my mind. Awesome. So give me two things that you think entrepreneurs and business owners need to definitely know and from the book, what they need to know in order for their business to go to the next level. What are the two important parts? Okay, I, I will go to two parts. Uh, one is emotion, emotional and the other is the um, skill, let's say it, let's say it. Uh, and the emotional, I am talking about the persons, the way that you uh, influence or behave or the person that you are with other persons and how, and how is your peer group, your group of influence and, um, and that, that people that surround you what's their value, what is their value of day and what value they offer you. And uh, the other thing that I will uh, um, uh, say as a reason of the book is how is your mind? How is your mindset about companies, about the business, about money and uh, about uh, shape and physics? That is awesome. So let's talk about mindset. What is your definition of mindset or what can you teach us about mindset? So the the for me uh, uh, mindset is the most important for me. It's the thing that I like to work the most. Uh, I I think when you have the right mindset, you can do whatever you want. If you say, "Oh, I will do this," you will do it. It's maybe not today, it's maybe not tomorrow, but you're gonna get it. If you decide, "I want this," okay, you're gonna get it. You find the why. This is what I want. This is why I want you get it. It's just a matter of time. Uh, so this is the mindset. The mindset is the ability or capacity to stay focused and to, to, to keep the pos positive attitude in order of the targets that you want and, and to keep in the direction in that, uh, in that, uh, in, for the thing, for the thing that you want. That's so here's mindset. my question. How, how, how does that affect the people that are around me? How do I get the right mindset? What, let's say I don't know nothing about mindset. What would be the couple of steps that I can take to adjust or upgrade my mindset? Well, <laughs> the thing that I recommend is to read the book. Uh, the book tells you the basic steps to you to... The guy just... Uh, the first thing that I want to, to tell you, I think is important, it's who is the writer. So Napoleon Hill was, was um, almost nothing until you knew Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie was a very successful guy who gave Andrew, the, who gave um, Napoleon the opportunity to an interview a bunch of guys. Another guy will say, oh, no, I don't want to do that. That's for free. No, not for me. But um, Napoleon Hill accepted, accepted the proposal and he tells, oh, okay, I'm going to interview a bunch of famous guys and richest guys and try to find what they do to get rich. And in that process, his mindset changed. It changed from poor, bad results guy to 
high performance, awesome results guy. And this is the way that he transformed his mindset. And this is the way that I believe all of us can transform our mindsets is to read, get new ideas, get close to the people that you want to be look like. I agree with that 100%. Now, my question is based on you coaching other individuals. What do you think is the number one issue that entrepreneurs face today when they want to grow their business? Oh, the number one. Or what is it that you see most common when you coach the individuals that you have working with? What are, what are some of the things that you think I, 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 I is common and happens for everybody? I will say procrastination, mm. uh, but a, a different kinds of procrastination, you know, like procrastinating, doing something that you want to do with some person, procrastinating something that you want to do and procrastinating the time, not doing what you have to do in the time that you have to do and just losing time. That's how, that, I think if you, if you just do, what you have to do, <laughs> you will be there. <laughs> I agree with that 100%. That high. So here's my question. You didn't tell us where you're coming in from. Where are you located? Oh, I came from Portugal. I am Portuguese. Oh, so you are in Portugal. Okay, not in Brazil that you speak Portuguese. You're in Portugal. I am Portuguese. And, Portu I'm, and I'm living in Portugal. I live uh, in uh, Sturil. That's uh, in the Lisbon zone, more or less, a little bit more. Got it, got it, got it. No, 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 I definitely appreciate it. So here's my question. Why should individuals go read Thinking Go Rich? In your opinion, why people should go and spend some time, a couple hours, read the book, and just like you mentioned, they shouldn't just read it one time. Obviously, they need to study the book and the content. But why do you think they should read the book? Okay, so there, there are books that are good and there are books that make difference, you know? And for me, the Think and Grow Rich really makes a turn, a turn on in my life, you know? Because I understand uh, that what you think is what you do. And if you think poor, you will do poor actions. And if you think rich, you will do rich actions. And that will become you rich. And if you want to be a rich person, a, a rich a guy uh, uh, to have money, to have good relations, to be uh, surrounded by people who think uh, outside of the box, that book gonna give you the capacity to attract all that things, you know? It's because mindset has a, a power to attract to your life what you want. It's just you to be focused on that and um, the book tells you exactly what you have to think and what you have to do in order to change that environment that you live there and change your mind to 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 be to have better results that's i i always tell my coaches to read the book always 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 it's Got it. no, no, I, I definitely agree everybody should uh, from high school they should be reading it now do me a favor can you tell me why we should read the book in portuguese please so all my Portuguese followers, they know. Just take one minute, say it in Portuguese, why they should read the book. Então, um, agora em português, olá aos portugueses que estão aí. Muito obrigado por estarem aí. E, um, então, por que é que vocês deviam ler este, um, este livro? Este livro é um, é um livro que eu recomendo a toda a gente que quiser ser empreendedor e que quiser ter a sua própria empresa. Porque o livro realmente explica-te como é que tu começas a ter uma atitude de pessoa rica não rica só em dinheiro, mas rica noutros aspectos, explica-te através da mudança do mindset. E quando tu conseguires mudar o teu mindset para um mindset mais rico, tu vais ter resultados melhores na tua vida e vais ser mais rico. Não mais rico só em dinheiro, mas também em pensamento e nas pessoas que te rodeiam. Porque o teu ambiente que te rodeia é que define os teus resultados. Então se tu conseguires que os teus pensamentos sejam mais positivos, tu também vais conseguir que... As pessoas que te rodeiam tenham mais pensamentos positivos e que te passem a rodear novas pessoas com novos pensamentos positivos. É sobre isto que o, que o, que o Think and Grow Rich fala. Ele fala sobre influenciar as pessoas que estão à tua volta para elas também serem melhores pessoas. E isso seria o meu conselho para quem quer então iniciar o livro. Realmente aconselho o Think and Grow Rich do Napoleon Hill.
Awesome. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. Hopefully we get to do a lot more. I have a lot of friends in Brazil that speak Portuguese. Now I got a couple of more friends in Portugal too. Nice talking to you. Hopefully we get to do more. Thank you. Talk Bye -bye. to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.